Boker Tov. Good morning, everybody. Good to see everyone today. Good morning. Wave if you can hear me so I know the audio is working. I see some yawns. <laughs> I see some of us are just waking up. It's so good to see everybody. Take a minute and scroll through your page. It's really great to see everybody. Take a minute to do that while we uh, let everybody hop on. I see lots of Bearmans in the video. Good morning, Bearmans. <laughs> Boker Tov, everybody. All right, good to see everyone. The numbers are still climbing, so I'm going to give everyone a chance to hop on. I'm scrolling through to see all of our beautiful faces this morning. I see some faces that just did meditation with me. It was nice to have, uh, it's nice that we have some regular students in our morning meditation. If you haven't joined us for morning meditation and you want to try it, you can feel free. We do it from 7.50 to 8 o'clock every day, Monday through Friday. So if you're curious and you want to join us, you are welcome to join us. All right. I scrolled through, I think, all of my pages. I am going to go ahead and share my screen so we can officially start our announcements today. Here we go. All right, Boker Tov. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. Hayom Yom Shlishi Vav Benisan Taf Shin Fei. And we are going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance and the Prayer for the State of Israel. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Avinu Shabbat Shemaim, Sur Yisrael v'goalo, Barach et Medinat Yisrael, Reshit Smechat Geulatenu. We do have a few birthdays today. First, happy birthday to Maura Kara Gutstein, Happy birthday to Jesse Ehrenwald and happy birthday to Jacob Weinberg. Hope everyone has really great birthdays today. All right, a couple of quick announcements and then we have time for a question of the day today. This is really for the parents who are watching. Um, a reminder that there's gonna be a class tonight at 7.30 called Building Our Parent Toolbox, Resiliency in Times of Uncertainty with Nancy Kaplan and Elisa Rotman. That's gonna be tonight. The link should be uh, on our web interface. Um, so I hope that you will join us for that. The book of the day is one of my favorites. It's called Mr. Peabody's Apples. It is actually an adaptation of an old story from the Baal Shem Tov, and it's got some amazing illustrations. It's already posted online, so if you feel like listening to a book and relaxing a little bit, you can go ahead and look at that. Okay, so here's gonna be our question of the day, and then I'm gonna open it back up. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen in the middle. But yesterday, I asked everyone to think about maybe making signs for first responders in your windows. So here's my question for you. What signs have you made or can you make for your window to help people feel more connected, right? We are, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a second. We are, can you see me again? Give me a thumbs up if you can see me again. Can you guys see me? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, great. Um, we are all kind of stuck in our houses, but we're all still connected. And there are lots of things that we're doing to be connected. This is one of them, right? Beginning our day together as a community. But I have seen when I've walked around my neighborhood, I have seen lots of signs in windows uh, to help people feel connected. So I wanna hear something that either you've done or something that you think you could do or something that you've seen that would be a cool way to help people who are walking by feel a little bit more connected to you. So I already see a whole bunch of hands going up. So Ellie Noah, I'm gonna unmute you, go ahead. Um, my family, we made like um, different rainbows out of different stuff in our house. Like we did rainbow paints and Legos and magnet tiles and we put it in our windows so everyone can see it and one thing you can do is you can make a sign that says like stay strong or be happy or smile and put it in your window and people will really like that. I love all of those ideas. Thank you so much for letting us know that you've been doing that. All right, Hallie, I'm going to unmute you. Um, 
thinking people put it, put um, signs like be happy, stay strong, those kind of signs on their driveway. So when people walk by, if they look on their driveway, they see it. I love that. I've also seen some of the chalk messages on people's driveways. Hallie, that's an awesome idea. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Ari Shandarf, I'm going to unmute you. Um, 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 we're, we're doing, doing chalk, chalk art, art and like doing different uh, and, art, and different with art, and we're also <laughs> tracing us in chalk. Excellent. So you're giving them some art to look at and enjoy while they pass by. Awesome. Lila, I'm unmuting you. Um, and I, I, I made like butterflies and I put them on my window. That's because, so nice. Because in in art class we made butterflies and I put them and I put them on my window and I'm gonna put and I'm gonna put them on my window. Fabulous. We've got butterflies. We've got rainbows. We've got all different kinds of things. Okay. Let's see. Hold on. Um, Noah Barakat, I'm gonna unmute you. Um, I haven't done this yet, but I've right. heard of it. So you can take magnet tiles and put them on your garage and make a, like, you can make, like, a word or a phrase or something. And you can also, like, encourage people to do kind stuff, one, and two, to be happy and be thankful that some people, we are, the majority of people have houses under, no, roofs under their head. So. Beautiful. I love that. Thank you so much. You gave us the idea of the magnet tiles and some of the messages we can do. Okay, let me see. Um, we're going to do uh, Brooke Fox. Brooke, are you there? I unmuted you. Yeah. Okay, what idea do you have for us? I um, made a picture of a doctor helping another person and I wrote under it, thank you. I love that. That's so beautiful. These are all amazing, amazing ideas. And I hope that we all do something. We do a little bit of something. I love the idea of even rainbows and butterflies and different things just to make people smile or messages of be strong or messages of gratitude. There's so much that we can do. All right. We're going to end together. Say it with me. Let's remember every action counts, action counts. and every word has power. So choose actions and words that will make the world a better and kinder place. Sending you all wishes for a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.